Hello everybody, welcome to the official World Championship cast replay of Sip Gin with Orcs versus Bright with Necromantic in Group N, Round 1 match. Um, as you can see, the colours are very similar, so we have this special button so that you can see them in red and blue. So now Sip Gin's blue Orcs, he's got a couple of guard biggins, a couple of block biggins, a tackle and a mighty blow. Oh wow. Bullshit. You can be mine. And a massive raid from Andy Dale. Thank you very much. Watching Flicky walk, walk into a lamppost. Um, it's a very strange build here with three goblins. Uh, that is a very unusual build. And I have to say, uh, it's got to be a little bit weak, right? With it having, having to feel the goblin is not desirable whatsoever. Uh, Bright has gone with Diomed's build for Necromantic. Different, funny enough, to Andy's build. Um, He's only got, the, the they've both only got one werewolf, uh, with block of course, guard of course on the wraiths and the fleshies, and that lets them skill both ghouls into a block ghoul and a wrestle ghoul, it lets them have the solidarity of 13 players, they get to foul more, and they have three rerolls as well, so yeah, I mean, it's not what I would do, but the thing is, it's interesting, right, the two wolves gives you redundancy, right, because if you lose one you've still got the other one. And it's harder to protect two wolves. Like I, I get it. I don't. I honestly don't hate only having one wolf. Um, but the thing is, I just don't feel you get like too much right in return. I don't feel like you get too much if you got something like two more ghouls for dropping the wolf, right? Or if you got like an extra reroll for dropping the wolf. So something more than just an extra zombie. The extra zombie isn't so good. If 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 these two zombies could be swapped for a ghoul. Then I would then I would like it more, right? Um, but yeah, I feel like I think it's fine, but I don't think it's like definitely the best build or anything. Um, so let's go. Um, yeah, yeah, exactly. But I mean, you're losing this. Yeah, you're losing the block wolf. Yeah, but you can't get to use two wolves super effectively, right? Like the second wolf is not as good as the first wolf, and the second ghoul is just as good as the first ghoul. But it's the zombie is just not that good. If if the zombie was like a reroll or something, I could I could like it more. I just feel like the zombie isn't that much of an upgrade. Thirteenth player. Like hmm anyway, right, let's uh <laughs> let's see what happens. Um so Sipjin is French, I believe. And qualified through the Canard WC competition. And Bright, of course, is Russian and qualified through the Ruby BL World Championship qualifiers. And has had a season in Super League. I think he's one of the best players, one of the favourites to win the competition. And he's got an extra re-roll here. Yes, he did hang out his wolf to get hit on a blitz, that's true. Yep. And he blitzes a troll. Doesn't use stand firm. He's gonna foul him though, which I guess this is the thing with 13 players, he gets to foul, like the elves and mummies. And trolls. It's like he, they get a fair bit of fouling, don't they? Ah, thanks, Breaky T. I also won Chalice, yeah, that's how he got his invitation to Super League. I mean, <laughs> Super League is way more, uh, way more prestigious than Chalice. Let's be honest. Um, I think, I think Bright might have won the ladder. No, I think Diamond won the ladder and then Bright won Chalice that season. Yeah. But he qualified through Rue BBL. Yeah, the pro this is the problem, right? Like, the, the wolf is like only having one wolf leaves you very susceptible to getting removed, right? And if you get that wolf removed, it's a disaster. But it is easier to protect one wolf than two. It's not, it's not obviously wrong. Let, let, let's just say it's not obviously wrong to have this one wolf build. But I, I, I'm not struck by the power that it gets over the two wolf. I would, I don't think I'd consider it. 
Oh wow, that's a great removal. Unbelievably good removal. There. No apple for Sipjin. But three goblins. Yeah, I, I hate the three goblins build, honestly. And uh, Sipjin not keeping his orcs together, so he's letting this wolf go and pick off a bigger maybe. Yes, incredible. He did, yes. Yeah, Sipjin won the toss and chose to kick, which uh, I am not a fan of. Never a fan of choosing to kick. Well, okay, I say never. Against, only against, only against uh, rats, I think. Maybe wood elves. Rats, maybe wood elves. And maybe Underworld, if anybody would have ever taken them. So Mighty Blow hit on the Wraith is fantastic. Doesn't knock him over though. The classic uh, square shape blitz into your fleshy if you roll pushes. Wood rats, yeah. Looks like he's going to really push forward this turn, eh? Not too far forward. I feel like he should have definitely moved this flesh golem before that block. No, he was going to move him in afterwards. And a rush. Oh, wow. Very aggressive. Because this is like this is uh, this can guy get can run this guy can get around the back right. This is a bit spicy. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh no, he can only touch. Wow, that, that's like pretty close to this. I mean, I, he obviously just counted the squares and knew he was safe. But feel like the ghoul had to be better like there, right? That's, that's where I expected the ghoul to go when the wolf had come there. But maybe that would have been a bit too far forward. Oh, the troll failed. Classic troll. Absolute classic troll. And now this is almost a free score, isn't it? Has a goblin, lovely. Thanks, because he stunned me. Honestly, I'm never gonna take a troll again. Like, I knew the troll was bad after my Super League. Even though I won Super League with a troll, I hated it and thought I'm not gonna pick a troll again. And then, <laughs> and then, um, I took it again anyway because I thought, look, I won with a troll. It's got to be good. It doesn't like winning doesn't mean anything, right? Like it's just it's just stupid of me. So I uh, yeah, never again, never again. No more trolls on books. <laughs> yeah, the the thing with the so the reasoning behind the troll, like I've said this before in another video, but I'll say it again. The reasoning behind the troll is without a troll, you just automatically lose to lizardmen. Um, but then, if you're going to automatically lose to lizardmen, why are you playing orcs? So I feel like if you think that, you know, if you think you're going to lose to lizardmen, then just don't play orcs. Is the is the correct play? So in future, I will simply not be using orcs if I think lizards have got you know a good package or likely to be played or whatever. Puts in the greed reroll here because you know otherwise he's in a bit of a pickle. And this ball is surely not going to be safe. It, maybe he'll score early. No, he's just going to leave it a little bit unsafe. Like it's only a little bit unsafe, but it is a bit unsafe. I guess it's only a tiny little bit unsafe, isn't it? Get 
There's a knock down there. Oh, should that have been? It doesn't he doesn't sidestep in front? Doesn't stop the one day. Invites the one day. And gets pushed. The troll did get me the end of an era clip. Yeah, that's true. Damn. Hey, I didn't hate scoring there. I really didn't hate scoring there, but. I don't hate scoring now either. Yep. Yeah, I think I would have scored the previous turn, but... Went a bit wrong there, didn't it? You know, like, that, that drive went a bit wrong. He made these huge removals, like, I mean, the go the Goblin is removal, but, like, isn't a huge removal, but it's a player, right? And then the, the KO'd Biggin was a massive removal, and it still have to be forced in early. Not great. Like, Orcs are still a good team. They're just not as good as Lizards. <laughs> But after that troll one in there, you'd have thought you'd have stalled out the half. And Bright gets another reroll from the kickoff. He's got four rerolls. I've noticed a lot of a lot of uh, necro coaches setting up like this, you know, just fully across, and then either the. Uh, Wraith or the fleshy holding the sideline. Makes the pick up. Whoa. Orcs are just good in every format. They're still good in they're still good in NAF style. It's just they're not so good at winning the tournaments because they're gonna draw a few, aren't they? Oh, that feels bad, doesn't it? With only a few turns to score, moving backwards to cage. Like, honestly, he doesn't really need these guys. Like, these guys should be out in front doing things. Like, if this big one was there and this tackler was there, there's still no real way to get into the cage. And then they've got guys further forward for breaking, breaking through. Picks off the weak link with Claw. Gets a Kaz. Interestingly, if he was, if this big one was over there, that would have made it two and a one. Might have even saved the life of his uh, lineman. Oh yeah, maybe his plan is tossing the gobble. Yeah. Well, I don't think it's a particularly great plan, but it's looking like the only plan he's, gonna, he's likely to have at this point, isn't it? Like, how the hell do you get forward here? So, he's blitzing over here, but shouldn't he be blitzing in the centre to try and solidify the troll so that he can uh, make the pass? Okay, so he's got a scoring threat. And because there's only one wolf, he can't be served. Just out of range, he's surfing. But I mean, he can't be wrestled down anyway, which is completely fine. Oh! Oh, you are. Gets the pow. Pow, 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 pow. How long in society it is, it's the World Championship. Very, very exciting, just full NAF style. Indeed, Calcium, yeah, like that's what I mean, like la last turn, honestly, you should have tried to solidify around the troll. I 
I think. Because this the long potato. I mean, he was trying to get the other goblin through, right? He was trying to dodge the goblin through to have two threats. But it's uh, <laughs> throw teammates still on. <laughs> He did actually push him towards the goblin, didn't he? He did push him towards the goblin. So, yep, yeah, five plus dodge, double GFI, and uh, throw. Oh. I don't think there's any, like, chain him forward or anything, is there? Like, chain him over here. It's just straight up. Used his last rear on that. He's not trying the the all. He didn't try. You didn't try it. Shut up. He didn't even try it, man. That's a fa like a five plus dodge isn't that bad, is it? It's not that bad. And then double double rush, and then lob him. Didn't even try it. Oh man. I mean, you've got regen, like, okay, there's a chance you fall over, a decent chance you fall over, but you've got to try that. I mean, this guy can come in there to help him as well, so you get, you've got the helper for him. And then, dodge, double rush, lob. Wow. Imagine taking three goblins <laughs> on your team and not trying to throw him. <laughs> Wow, 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 wow. Flip me. <laughs> Three gobs, no throw. That's, that's big bang out though, isn't it? Lyman gone, big and gone, and goblins was fielding two goblins. Ten players, two of them are goblins. That's uh, that's pretty rough. It's looking really rough for Sip Gin. You might have to guzzle Gin at this rate. done 20% with one reroll yeah there you go like that's a lot higher than zero <laughs> isn't it I mean there's a chance of getting your troll cast isn't there which you know is less than one in 72 so, I think that's worth it. Wolf Blitz. Like, this is the thing, you only get to hit one with one wolf anyway, right? Like, the, the chance of you leaving a wolf in contact and getting a block from him is pretty low, right? Chances are, you're, you're one, you're like, you know, one of your wolves is blitzing every turn. That's why I didn't mind wrestle for my wolf, right? One, one wrestle, one block, I didn't mind because you, I was primarily trying to use one wolf as the blitzer and one as the safety. Whereas, because uh, he's just unlikely to get to use two wolves to bang on people. But, Necro getting, you know, Necro getting on top of teams and teeing off on them like they're the best team at snowballing for victories. That's the best way to beat somebody, right? It's just basically dicing them. So that 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 there's more chance of that happening if you've got two block walls, right? And just using them aggressively. Um, but I didn't hate a block wolf and a wrestle wolf, and I don't even hate the one wolf. I just don't think it's it's gaining that much for it to be a good idea. Yeah, probably should have centralized it a while ago. Go 
Goes for the zombie dodge. Use them a little weak through here, doesn't it? A little weak. Uh, more than a little weak, probably. Would like to have seen the the troll. <laughs> the troll fleshy blitz, honestly. Get him really through the middle there. Like this is, it, but by not blitzing the fleshy, you're not getting that far forward, right? And I guess you don't want to score. I mean, if you get too far forward, you probably lose two one anyway. Oh god, stunned as well. I mean, he's getting a bit banged out here, isn't he? This isn't. This isn't lucky for Sipjin. It was a bit of an overcommit, but like the necro, the fast players are fast enough, aren't they, to recover? But I, I don't like that these were these are marked right. I, I think he had to like it, it, as much as it sucks. I think he had to do the troll blitz, and then he, his cage would have been up here, and then these. Zombies would have had to rush to base the back of the cage. So it wasn't super weak because you, you, I would have relied on the troll, a troll blitz for a pal there, but I think that's what he had to because he was in such a bad spot. Like he's in a very bad spot here, isn't he? A really, really, really bad spot. One in nine from the goblin, and he dies. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Good job he's got dodge, eh? <laughs> and instantly in with a wolf blitz. <laughs> and yeah, this looks. Could have three D that? Uh, maybe not, eh? There wasn't. Someone who could easily get there. Yeah, great ball carriers, aren't they, goblins? <laughs> Obviously had to re-roll that. Fails. Was there a safe move he could have done first? Maybe. Maybe not, though. I guess he was going to rush with the fleshy and stuff. Who knows? This does look pretty game over. Desperation scatter. Um, Necro, Necro over undead. I mean, undead is still a monster, monster team. Monster team. So I wouldn't say Necro just better than them, but. You know, the the skills help them more. The skills help Necro more than the skills help Undead, right? Undead, even if Undead took four guard, it's not as good as having guard on sidesteppers and stand firms. Basically. Block on a wolf is way better than, like, tackle on a white. Right? So, like, they really benefit from the res format a lot more than, ne than than Undead do. Like, if it was a thousand TV, no skills, Undead absolutely, absolutely annihilate um, Necro. No Surf, Diced again. Comedy Mega. Another reroll? No. Nearly a zombie ball carrier for Dimmy. <laughs> Yeah, Necro's got the speed against the elves, hasn't it? The Necro don't, like, the undead don't. Undead just hope to bang out, like, elves with mighty blow players, but then they've got four. They've got four ghouls, but it's not the same as having two ghouls and two wolves. But then in this tournament, they don't have it. Yeah, one turning denied, yeah. Close against AV 10 plus, yeah. Yeah, Necro, Necro are really a very nice bash team. 
They can really high roll as well. Like they high roll, they, they well, two wolf, two wolf necro probably high roll better than anything, I think. Yeah, yeah, it's over now. Two and a two. I mean, the except. Ooh! Don't like that. He had the clear route to the ball, didn't he? And then that, that push has stopped him in his tracks. He can get through with the rest of the way. I can go all the way around with this one. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, that was alright. Yeah, that's the thing. It's, it's, yeah, yeah. It depends on the pack for Necro. Absolutely. It depends on, like, the tiering in the pack. Yeah. Undead are better, except when they aren't. Yeah. Like, ultimately, it comes down to skill stacking again, doesn't it? That's the thing, right? Like, Necro have the skill stack of, like, Guard and Stand Firm and Guard and Sidestep. And, and, like, block and claws and stuff that the like other teams can't get stacks, right? It's very strange. Well I mean he's just gone through the motions now, isn't he really bright? It's pretty much over, but he's Small chance of not getting a touchdown, I guess, but... And with that pow, that secures the 2-0. Provided he can manage to click straight ahead. <laughs> He's in range. With two full movements. He does not need any kind of uh, cage, does he? He's just literally out of range. Oh no, he was, yeah, he could have just gone here and he's just out of range of everything. Oh no, the tackler. Okay, so he did need something to stop either the big and or the tackler. So yeah, you're going to go here and stop the big and that. One nil down, it actually doesn't matter, right? <laughs> it really doesn't matter to sip Jin if he loses one nil or two nil. Too much. But I guess what he should have done was dodge blitz this guy with the big one, so that at least there's some dice to roll for Bright, like one in twelve, nine, six chance or something. Um, is better than <laughs> none again. Um, but there you go, easy, easy win for Bright, really. Uh, you can see there all those cars. Um, I did not like the three goblin build. Two of them got killed. One of them failed a dodge. Um, and yeah, one one wolf was absolutely enough, wasn't it, for, for Bright there. Got the job done very efficiently. Well played. Congrats to Bright. Commiserations, Sipjin. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.